God bless you. Please tell us your name, your state, and your testimony. My name is Queen Momodu from Edo State. CSM. CSM. I'm here to testify the goodness of God in my life. Something, something marvelous and miraculous happened to me on Friday. Daddy, I thank you for the program that you hold last. Thank you, Jesus. Please kneel down for Jesus. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Friday, I was at work. So they asked me to come for a checkup concerning my health the other time. So last week, Friday, I didn't go. So this Friday, they now asked me to come. And so let me just go there. As I want the hospital now. And as I was reserving that transport for today's service. I said, if I use that transport to go to hospital, I may not have transport to come to church. The other man, I said, go. Maybe eh, God will just do things miraculous way. So I went. As I was there now, the doctor was talking to me. One of my cousin's sister, and, uh, she just called. I wanted to post the call. I was scared. Maybe she wanted to tell me something concerning her parents. Because we don't talk, we just chat on WhatsApp once once. So she now called me again. I pick it. He said, my sister, you get bed sheets. I was like, I wanted to say no. And I say, yes, I have. He said, like, how many? I say, I have eight. I said, God forgive me, I don't they lie because I don't even have the last one that I have. I brought it here last two weeks Sunday. Because my father always tells us that if you are going to a prophet's house, you don't go there with empty hands. So I just drop it there. So I was not thinking, I say, ah, me my daughter, my sister, I say, I get eight per sheet for her. How am I going to make it? He said, they need up to 15. I was not calculating. I said, ah, how am I going to do this thing now? She now said I should be fast, so they need it urgent. I was thinking that maybe something like four days. She said they need it urgent, they want to use it to how much am I selling? I told her. She now said, okay, no problem, I will assist you. To call the story short, and I call, as wisdom profitable to a man, according to that, they say, it's wisdom that put us in poverty. And I calculate, and I call the woman, I say, are you people have sold their sheets? She said, yes. I said, please, just keep so, so, so pieces for me. I took a cab, I got there. She was just giving me pressure. Enter cab, enter cab. I said, me, I don't even have this money for cab again. So I now enter alone. So she was now saying, when you get there, this is how you are going to do it. Too. Behold, when I got there, she was even the one that helped me to put price. At the end of it all, I was so happy. She didn't even know what I was passing through. Because when I was sick, God, I give you all thy glory because you are a faithful God. During that, my sickness, my landlady just came. I just said, now nah, devil just use this woman. She was just putting pressure of her strength on me. I said, don't you see that I'm sick? I'm not feeling good. He said, no, no, for Samuel. In the devil increase the strength. She was just talking. I left her. But yesterday, as God may have it, I just transfer her house strength money to her. I have enough to pay for my daughter's school fees. I came to church today. I will continue to come to this church. I said, that's free that enter my sister. <laughs> That's why I should throw this away. That spirit, God, Daddy has already banned it, and God has already sent that spirit to Sabisa Forest. That is why I came out to give thanks to God Almighty. Bless the Lord that Jesus. God bless you. Thank you. More testimony. The Lord eyes will shine on you day and night in Jesus' mighty name. Call plus two hundred and thirty-four eight zero three eight hundred and forty-six. 3326 to book an appointment with the Son of Man today.